Alright Josh here and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Spot Live series. Now today we're featuring a brand new team and we're going to be using Xerneas again uh, because you know it's good. Same Xerneas as always, I don't really need to talk about that. Geomancy, Protect, Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Power Herb, what, what else do you need on a Xerneas? Um, I suppose you could have like Sub or something crazy but it's pretty much the bog standard Xerneas. Um, but it's, it's supporting cast are fairly interesting. So. We've got Kyogre again. I think we've ran Zernogre before. I think that was not the last team. I think the team before we used uh, Xerneas Kyogre. But this Kyogre is different. Like my, my, the other Kyogre was uh, bulky, like max HP, barely any speed, barely any special attack. Uh, you know, it was very bulky with 50% rate. This has also got a 50% rate, but it's faster and more offensive. So not much in defenses. So I have to play careful with it. But um, you know, it hit like it hits like a truck. And it's pretty fast as well. It's I think I put it to like 140, so it outspeeds max speed Smeagol. I think that's how fast I made it. So it is, it is quite fast. Um, did I say the moves? I don't even know. It's, well, it's Protect, Scald, Ice Beam, and Origin Pulse. I was going to put Thunder, but I think I just kind of wanted Ice Beam. Like, there was so many times I wanted Ice Beam to hit Groudon on the switching. And Scald is just... I think Scald's like a good option on Kyogre. Like... When, when you really can't risk missing Origin Pulse, like, Scold is, is such a good, like, reliable move. And obviously Water Spout isn't the... Water Spout's best on, like, Scarf Kyogre, I would say. Or, like, a slow Trick Room one or something. Like, this, like, fairly mid-speedish, fast Kyogre. If I get any chip damages, because, you know, it's gonna... It's gonna lower it, so we don't want to do that. Um, who should I talk about next? Let's talk about Katana. Katana is AV, is very bulky this one, not a ton of attack, so I'm not 100% sh like used to it yet, <laughs> but um, it is very bulky with knockoff, Sacred Sword, Smart Strike and Leaf Blade, pretty much what you'd expect from a Katana, an Assault vs Katana anyway. Okay, then we get to more interesting ones, so, um, Salazzle. Salazzle is so good. Like, it's got one of the fastest fake outs. I think the only thing faster than it is Weavile. But, like, how often do you really see Weavile? I think we've seen it like once or twice, but you know, most of the time people are just using Incineroar or Raichu, and we're going to get that faster fake out, so, which is nice. And it's just really good against Xerneas. I mean, it times four resist fairy, so it actually doesn't, barely takes anything, even from like, it can live like three Dazzling Gleams and, and, and stuff with, with literally no bulk, which is really good. Like, a like I was thinking, like, AV Salazzle could be quite good. Cause it gets, like, I think it gets foul play. Anyway, we're actually just focused Sash Salazzle. Um, just to guarantee a liver hit. And we've got Fake Out, obviously. Uh, Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower. Very standard. Yes, I've got Flamethrower on a... on a big. But the thing is about Flamethrower, like, you are faster than Katana. And Katana's, are, like, a good threat to my Kyogre and my Xerneas. So just getting that thing out potentially is like amazing. I mean, most Katana people are running at uh, AV, so just flame throwing that thing straight out is just so good. And then the last move is Encore, which um, I got the idea from Baz Anderson, one of his teams that he was using. I just thought that was really cool. And yeah, it's really funny when you just locked up a draw call and they don't expect it. Proper good. And then, my friends, the king is back. Landorus returns. The return of the king. Uh, yeah, like I was struggling for like the last spot on this team. Like I had the the other five, and I was I wanted intimidate, but I didn't want I wasn't didn't want really want to use Incineroar. And Landorus just kind of like I wanted something for like ground types. Oh, I wanted a ground type. I want and I wanted something um, with like rock slide or stone edge or something. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I just use Landorus? Why not? Let's bring it back and with intimidate as well. It just kind of fit really well. Um, it's not like a, the only downside is I can't really like just free earthquake against everything, but there's not been, been many times where I actually just want to sit and free earthquake to be honest, because well, there's a lot of wide guard going about and stuff. So, but we're actually trying scarf landris. Um, I think that's a good good thing to run in this format because scarf Kyogre obviously just decks it um, <laughs> if you're not if you're not fastest. But landris does outspeed by like one point, so I am max. I am adamant, but I'm max. I'm max speed, so I can just outspeed modest. Um, modest Kyogre by like one point if it's max speed choice scarf. Um, so we've got U turn, knock off, rock slide, and earthquake. Very straightforward for a Landorus, like a scarf Landorus, but it's been working out really well actually. Landorus has been putting in some absolute work. And then the last one is the Whimsicott, which is probably a bit surreal, but like, okay, so I've got Grass Knot because 
I always want, I always have an attacking move on like a prankster Pokemon just in case I get taunted or something. Like a support money, you should always have like one attacking move, unless it's Smeagol. That's, that's I think that's like the only exception really. And um, so we've got Grass Knot. And we got Taunt, so we can taunt opposing Xerneas. We can taunt um, something that wants to set up Trick Room or Gravity or something like Bronzong or something like that. Um, what else do I have? I, I was really struggling with Whimsicott because there's like so many moves I wanted to have. Um, the other move, oh yeah, Tailwind. We've got Tailwind, of course we've got Tailwind. So I can always Tailwind and set up Xerneas that way. We can Tailwind if my opponent doesn't have it and, and just get, just destroy lives with uh, Kyogre plus Xerneas set up or Katana as well. Just can run through things. And then the last move on Whimsicott is Sunny Day. Yes, I'm running Sunny Day on Whimsicott on a Kyogre team. <laughs> that makes sense. But it actually does because I realised that, like, like one of the main leads that like people, well, I mean, a classic lead, isn't it? I, I, I always considered the Ludi, Ludi Scarf Kyogre or the Serena Scarf Kyogre. And I was like, I'm always thinking, how do I stop that? So in the last team we used, uh, <coughs> well, the last team we used, we had Groudon, but then the team before we had like Rayquaza getting rid of the airlock, and then Xerneas wouldn't die, and I could set up. So this is kind of like the same thing, but Sunny Day Xerneas takes like hardly, well, not hardly anything, but it doesn't take, it takes like 30, 40 percent from Water Spout or something, and then I get set up, and then. You know, rip everything. So Whimsicott with Sunny Day is actually super clutch. It's, it means I've got like Sunny Day mode or and Rain mode. It, it, having the dual weather is honestly that like, really helpful. It, it does really help. It's, it's going clutch so many times. Um, I did want help in hand on Whimsicott. I wanted Encore on Whimsicott, but I just couldn't find the room. But I, I could change that anyway. Okay, let's get into it anyway. Let's just let's just start playing. I've, I've waffled for six minutes. So. I've actually done, like, I've been playing with this team on Showdown for the past few weeks and I've actually done really well in it, like, mid-1600s on Showdown, which is, like, just shy of the top 100, which is certainly not bad at all. So I'm hoping that could translate onto, uh, onto Battle Spot, but we'll see. I did just play one war game on Showdown, oh my god. It was the most tilting game ever. <laughs> I got crit, like, five times. Like, I set on my Xerneas at the end and I was like, okay, I can win now, I've set Xerneas up. And my opponent double critted. Xerneas, like the first attack, it was Tornadus and and Solgaleo, but Sol Solgaleo was like minus two because it had been super powering something. Uh, it had been super powering like I expect, like it super powered Katana. It, it, it super powered expecting a Katana switch and then it super powered Katana. So it was like neg two attack and the Tornadus <laughs> hurricaned my, hurricaned my um, Xerneas, hit it in the sun and confused and then the smart str oh and crit Hit in the sun, confused and crit, and then the smart, and then the um, sun straw streak on the steel on the Sol Galeo. Uh crit. I couldn't believe it. Oh, we're actually going against the. Uh, that's really funny. We're going against the team that we, we played with last week. That's that's so funny. Okay, well, that's kind of good because we we kind of know how to play against it. Hmm. Okay, well, we we want Kyogre. Right. Well, if this is exactly the same. Oh, is this actually? Alex, who made it? That's actually, that could be really funny. Okay, well, we know that... <sighs> okay, so we're bringing Kyogre. I'll bring Salazzle. And I'll bring Katana. I'll bring Kyogre. And who else do I want? Those three are really good against this team. Don't Xerneas. Um, I could bring Lando. Nah, mm, uh. nah, let's bring Xerneas. Let's bring Xerneas. I mean, maybe it is Alex who made the team. I mean, it's not a QR code, so it probably is. <laughs> That's so funny. But um, I'll message him after this and see and see if it if, and see if it is because that'd be so funny. Like, what are the chances? Like, we just finished using this team and then we play against him who actually made it. I think he might be. I'll, I'll message him. I'll message him on Twitter after this. I'm ex kind of expecting stack attacker. Let's go, Salazzle. Look at it. It's so good. Oh my god, you've no idea how much breeding this thing was. Okay, that that's actually like kind of a, a lead I wanted to see. Okay, the Smeagol didn't didn't have fake out.
Uh, I should probably fake out Smeagol. I'm going to double Smeagol. Zinnius could settle though still. Oh, beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. That's like the best case scenario. That is the best. Oh, okay, you just smash your okay. Well, we're both getting hurt, which is bad, but it, that was the best case scenario for me because I can encore Xerneas now. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, I can smart strike it. I can smart strike it. Smart strike doesn't miss, right? Oh, yeah, it can do that. I forgot about that. Okay, that wasn't the best case scenario then. Okay, that was silly of me. That's so much damage. Okay. Right, well, well. Okay, it's not the end of the world because... <clears throat> because, my friends, Salazzle's faster. This Cernus is bulky, though. Well, Smeagol can only can only follow me, so I'll double and it might switch. We just need to hit Sludge Bomb. That would be super good. I'm expecting maybe you could switch into um Nah, maybe just sack it. I forgot about follow me, that was so bad. Oh, I knew there's a reason I don't record early. And we couldn't like really early in the afternoon. Oh yeah, it is. It, 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 I am playing it. He just, he just messaged me saying, "Good luck, have fun." <laughs> Wait, that's really funny. Okay, so, okay, we need to hit this sludge bomb, big time. We should live this. Yeah, beautiful. Oh no, my special, my special attack. Okay, it's, it's kind of good. Oh, okay, we hit that. That's nice. I'm glad that um, Sazzle didn't take any damage as well. It really does nothing, does it? Kinda wish I brought Whimsicott, actually. Mm, maybe I should have brought Whimsicott. Okay. think. Um, I still want Salazzle. I'm going to sack Kyogre, I think. I'll try and leave play, but it's, it's just going to be Dazzling Gleam um, thingy. I just want the fa I just want the fake out to try and settle my Xerneas. That's like the only that's the only um, chance I've got. I think. That's just Moonblast. Oh, we get a leave play off, and I live that. Let's go, Kyogre. I could have smart strike. <laughs> That's a good chunk of damage, but it's very, yeah. <sighs> well, I, w I want to sack these two off, so any damage is good, to be honest. Okay, this connects. Th I don't think this will KO. It is okay. Right, nice. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. We got fake out now. We got fake out, and we got geomancy. That's what we need to do. <clears throat> uh, stack, oh, stack attacker in the back actually is the is the biggest concern. Thinking about it. 
Ah, if it's stack attack in the back, we just lose, actually. I have to fake out that. And I have to Geomancy. And stack attacker would ruin my life. <sighs> would you have brought stack attacker? Yeah, probably. I wish I, I didn't Encore at the beginning. I should have just sludge bombed. That would have that would have actually been a lot better. That was that was really silly of me to be honest. It's <gasps> that's so clutch. That's so clutch. That's so clutch. Okay. That is so clutch. Does D-Gleam knock out this Xerneas? I know that Xerneas is bulky. But I think I have to D-Gleam. I'll Sludge Bomb Groudon. We D-Gleam Sludge Bomb, that's, that's my only uh, option, I think. This is more like physically bulky though, from what I remember. Oh my god, look at, look at the health, look at the health guys. Look at the health. Look at the health. Oh. Look at the health. I actually can't believe that. That is so damn close. If the last one stack attack, we would have lost, but if it's anything else. I think it would have been good. Oh, it would have been good. That's that's really annoying. <laughs> oh no. I oh, was so close. Wait. Oh wait, wait, wait. This this actually isn't over. If I, I think I can live a Moonblast. Nah, maybe not a Moonblast, but I can... I can <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he just texted me saying, they both lived on one. Oh, my God. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. But <laughs> Both of them are one HP. See, we do take that pretty well. It depends what Blossom goes for. Just goes for sub. Uh, well, we're faster, so we break the sub. Um, it's gonna quiver dance though. It's gonna quiver dance. Okay, break the sub. You go quiver dance. I break the sub. But grass not gonna not gonna be doing anything to me. I mean, we could still get this. Yeah, it does Quiver Dance. I mean, I could Encore into Quiver Dance, but... Because I think he's going to do that anyway. Mmm, the speed, though. Nah, this is going to be... <laughs> Look at the field right now. It's Salazzle versus Blossom. What the hell? That's so funny. Oh, I can't! I can't believe the double, double hit, double one living poison would be so nice. By the way, that does so much damage. This isn't over though. Like this could still beat me. This could. He said he shouldn't have brought Blossom. I, I really thought it was gonna be stack attacker to be honest. But this is, this is not over. Like it should be. Is he faster than me now? A plus two. No, okay. But it might live, going off the first damage. <gasps> okay, <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, man. What a game. Was that, I'm gonna say, was that one as well? That's so funny. Oh, come on. I'm never gonna kill this thing. Ah, oh, man. This, is, this has been, this has been a, a game. A game and a half. Right, I'm asking if that was one HP as well. Oh. Is it dead? Can't kill it. Guys, we can't kill it. If this KOs, I I I I Okay that he does absolutely nothing. That was one HP as well. <laughs> the bulk of <laughs> the bulk.
Oh, that was a, that was a really fun game. <laughs> that was a really like roller coaster of a game, wasn't it? Like it was really up and down. Um, Salazzle was clutch. See, do you see what I mean? Sal Salazzle's good. Salazzle is a really good man. Oh man, that was so cl that was so close. <sighs> I, I I genuinely like thought we lost that. Um, I oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what a game! What a game! I should, I 100% should have brought Whimsicott. I played that really bad, especially Encore in, on the follow me. That was, that was my brain not functioning. That was, that was really bad. Let's have Ultra Recon Squad. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What? A, what? I can't, can't believe we played Alex as well. That's really funny. I said to him, GG. That was like super close. His team's got so much bulk. I mean, like, he just said, "Am I, <laughs> am I recording?" Yes. Yes, I am recording. Okay, we've got a, a Japanese player with bid 1700, so... Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so so one problem I did notice with this team was Tornadus. It is a bit of an issue. Um, because my Whimsicott actually is not max speed. <clears throat> I think I think I put it as calm. It's calm, so... I have to be super careful here. Um, Lunal is not great, either. I think I will still bring Whimsicott. I don't want Salazzle. I feel like Salazzle's quite good against Amoongus. Do I want Xerneas? Mm. Okay, Salaz Salazzle is good here. Whimsicott Landorus? Is that what they call a lead? Salazzle's really good. And so's Katana. Like, I don't think Xerneas is very good. I mean, yeah, if I get set up, but I'm just worried that Amoongus is red card. And that's a really bulky Katana. My Katana is pretty good. I might not, I'm, I'm not going to bring any of the legendaries. Is that stupid? I'm doing it. I just don't feel like Kyoko is that good either. Look at these guys. Let's let's use a. I actually want to build like a team that just has no restricted. Just like to see if I like a like a, no like a, I want to build like a good team without any of the restricted. That'd be quite funny. Oh my god! I can't go over that that roller coaster first game. What a game. Okay, it's so Lunala Lele. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Let me think. Scarf. Yeah, that's Scarf. Mm, so I can expect some sort of psychic attack flying in my way. I will tell him. <coughs> I want to knock off the Lunala. But I might die to a side shock actually. I didn't count that on Landorus. I have got some bulk though. Okay, no protect. <laughs> but obviously Lele's not gonna protect because it's scarf. Okay, so you're gonna side shock Landorus, surely. Oh it actually goes for Whimsicott. Fifty oh. percent baby. Let's go Whimsicott. Pokemon, let's go Whimsicott. Are you just gonna tailwind again? Or moon guys for him? Look at that damage. Spell tag. That's a lot of damage. <coughs> right, I'm going to knock off Lele and go into Katana. Go into Katana. You see, the thing is, if I lose Whimsicott, and my opponent has Scarf Kyogre in the back, then I just lose. I think I'm fairly safe going into Katana. Salazzle just dies. Actually, no, I'm going to go into Salazzle. Oh, and I'm going to knock off Lily. <sighs> changed my mind. I've changed my mind. This team is super complicated to play with, by the way. 
There's so many little white weird like I'm still figuring it out, it's really confusing. Yeah, you do go for Landris, okay. I should flip this, maybe? Yeah, I'll actually we take that really well. Okay, that's nice. Let's get rid of this. This uh Okay, nice. Into Landris. You... Oh, you don't you don't do it. okay. Okay, we're in a really good position then. <clears throat> so all I need to do now is sludge bomb Lele. And knock off Lunala. Although Lele could switch into Katana. Is that likely? I could flamethrower. But I'm would that knock out Lele? I can't risk it. I'll 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 sludge bomb, because I can't risk it. And we'll knock off the Lunala. <clears throat> We've still got uh, Wings Cut in the back, which is nice. None of the Pokemon I brought have Protect. <laughs> I just thought as well. Salazzle doesn't have it. Landris doesn't have it. None of them have Protect. We are playing with no Protects. Like, I, f I, I, I feel okay though about... Okay, oh, it's going to be Katana. Oh, okay. No, it's not. It's Tornadus. Okay. I was gonna say, oh no no no, that was that was bad. That that I feel bad about that. Like the crit and the poison. That's that's uh, that's a shame. Sorry, sorry to my opponent. That that was really bad RNG actually. That was super bad. And Kyogre, I'm, if you brought Tornadus, you're gonna bring Kyogre, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not Choice Scarf Kyogre, which is good. And Lele can't protect, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to Sludge Bomb, unless it's Scarf with Protect. I still, I, I don't think we can lose this anyway. And I'll just knock off Kyogre. Because, um, I've got Whimsicott in the back, I just Sunny Day, and then Katana beats these two completely. I'm guessing Berry or Specs? Mystic Water? Spell Tag and Mystic Water, those are, that, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Oh yeah, the crit poison was uh, was pretty bad on the tornadus, definitely. But well, this is going to KO both. But I do get Whimsicott and um, <coughs> and Katana in, and Kyogre can't beat both. I don't even need to tell him actually because this isn't because um, <coughs> my Katana will outspeed, and my Whimsicott should do as well actually. How fast did I make Whimsicott? can't remember. But my Wimsicott should outspeed, so I can literally just Grass Knot Leaf Blade. So yeah, that, that, that would have been a longer game if we not crit poisoned. Salazzle put it in work again. Salazzle's been like super clutch. Salazzle was really good the first game. It took that, it took that Moonblast really well, I'm telling you, it's, it's bulky. Like if, I, I've, like I probably, I'm going to try another team with Salazzle with, um, I'll probably use it again, but with Assault Vest. I think that could be really good. I swear it gets foul play as well. It's like instead of on call up, call out. Anyway, so new team. We take both games. Um, that one was pretty straightforward, apart from, but I mean, the, the crit and the poison did kind of matter. Um, so it could have gone on a few turns longer, but I did feel pretty comfortable with uh, the two double grass in the back. Uh, and with Sunny Day on, on Whimsicott, it would have been absolutely fine. So we should have been alright there. Um, but that first game, what a roller coaster. GG to Alex again. Like, that's just so funny. Like, what, what are the actual chances? That's the first time I've been on Battle Spot. This is the first time I've been on Battle Spot since I used his team last time. That's really funny. Anyway, cheers for watching this episode, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all in a bit.